So I want to show you how to set up a fade in and fade out functionality using dummy clips within Ableton. So what this is doing is there's a pad set up here just by using MIDI notes and this can be any audio you want it to be. Um, but what we're doing is, so if I hit I for fade in, it fades that audio in and then when I hit O, it fades that out. So let me show you how to set this up. So all you need to do is hit Command T to create a new track. Then we'll name this Fades. And then to get this envelope to work correctly, what you need to do is set up what we call a dummy clip. And all that is is stripped out audio. So you can grab in grab any of these audio files from Ableton or anything that you may have. And we'll just rename this Fade In. And then you want to come down here to sample, turn this all the way down, and then hit warp, and then in the envelope section you want to change, go to mixer and track volume, and we want this fade to go over two measures so it's not an abrupt fade. So we'll make this endpoint three. And we want to do our fade in first, so we'll draw a point at two. I'm sorry, two measure fade, so we'll point at three. Clear that out so that it's a two measure fade. We'll copy, paste this, change this to fade out. Same thing here but we want it to go the opposite way. We go down. And then if you hit command K to MIDI to uh, key map these, I and then O. And then for audio routing, all you need to do is send the pad or anything that you want to send to this fades track to fades and then turn your fades monitor in to in. So now when you fade this in, fades in over two measures and then hit O to fade it out. So that's how I've set up fade in and fade out using dummy clips. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let me know.